So we got a job, uh, got an email from a local realtor, actually one of the biggest realtors in the city that we live in. Um, and they were asking just for samples of our charcuterie boards. Um, so we sent them some pictures and they ended up wanting 10 total charcuterie boards, uh, five of these, and then five epoxy charcuterie boards. And so in this video, we'll show you how we went about making these and how we go about making the epoxy charcuterie boards and what lo they look like when they're all done. Oh, here's one that's actually done right yes. now. Why this one here? Just like this with the white epoxy. So five of these and five of these. So here we go, another one for the books. just uh, removing the rest of the bark with just a palm sander because uh, if you don't remove all this here, you know, closer. see all this here, if you don't get removed when you put the epoxy, the epoxy will stick to this bark and then it can crack or come apart on you. Tell me how I know, it happened. <laughs> That's how I know. So make sure it's sanded nicely and then uh, I guess you'll see me do that. charcuterie boards. perfectly leveled table. We'll let that dry for a few days and then pouring epoxy is going to become nice and easy now. Got them cut up and mostly shaped and now just getting the cracks and knots filled and then final sand. Got to drill a little uh, hole on this handle but they're coming along. Okay, just built a little form for the wood to go into and this is our little channel to pour the epoxy in. Pretty straightforward. Going to be nice to pour the epoxy on our nice uh, self-leveled table. I mean, what do you
What is that? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 682, 680, 692, 7, 6. There you go. 4 Making these chocolate boards here, I already have a template made out. This is what I use, just a rough template. I uh, just place it on there and mark my cutoff edges. And the nice thing is, you just flip them over and you have less waste. Then do the same thing to that side. And you just keep going down all the way down the board. Guess we need a bigger bandsaw. Back to the old system, jigsaw. <laughs> okay, finished cutting on the on the jigsaw. Now I'm gonna finish the cuts on the bandsaw.
how I mark my centers. I just take rough measurement either side. There you go, got my center. Green button usually looks better. First little bit of schlock going on the boards. Makes it look real nice. There they are. Almost done. Yep. Mm -hmm.